Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dooley, and I'm the developer of the Dynamic Maps Game Engine system, a very simple app that allows you to use any image or video that is supported by modern browsers as your flat screen television tabletop or projected from top down onto a tabletop gaming surface. What we're going to do is quickly run through the existing functionality of the tool and how it works. What you do is you start out with this wrench in the top right corner, clicking it open. You can see a nice little handy dandy sidebar with a choose file button there. Clicking that brings us the option to load any image that we want in as a map. This fantastic little piece by Forgotten Adventures is going to get scaled up by clicking in the right corner. Of course, you can click and drag at the edges like any modern paint program. Point being is once you've got it scaled up, you can add a grid, be it quad or hex. We're going to go with a quad grid first off. Of course, it's already got one built in, but this is, for example, purposes so bear with me we can adjust the opacity of the grid lines as well as the size of the grid it's important to note that when you're generating the size of the grid it's regenerating the entire grid so it might take a second do be patient it's working it'll get back to you when it's done uh, we can set it to hex as well again I've clicked it we're gonna give it a second give it another second and maybe one more second like I said, you got to be patient. It's a lot to lots of process. There we go. All right. Hey, we got a grid now. How about that? So like I say, patience. Uh, once you got it all figured out there, you can turn on your fog of war. And of course, clicking on the fog of war will slowly remove the fog of war. And right then and there, you've got everything you need to rock and roll dice. Um, if you wanted to load a video, you can use the same field and let's say you're playing Star Trek uh, or some other Starship game like maybe Star Wars, X-Wing. Uh, that said, once you've loaded your video, you can still scale it as you need. So if you didn't want it to be you know, full screen for whatever reason, you can absolutely shrink it down. The full featured version of this tool is described in the Kickstarter. Uh, I'm open to any sort of feedback, suggestions, comments, critique, that sort of thing. Feel free to let me know if you have an opinion. Otherwise, that's it. Really, in a nutshell, uh, does what it needs to for a tabletop surface. If you like the tool, throw me a couple bucks on Kickstarter and I'll be developing this full time through till it's done. Otherwise, you have yourself a wonderful day and may your 20s always land on 20s.